I'm Steven Taylor, endurance coach and fitness trainer through my company, sttrainer.com. I'm here to talk about how to swim with floats. In other words, how to correctly use a pole buoy while swimming. The materials you will need for this activity include any pole buoy. This is one example. A pole buoy is a good tool for someone to use who is learning to swim and they are struggling to achieve balance where their hips and legs are on the surface of the water. If you're finding your hips and your legs are dragging uh, down in the water, consider using a pull buoy uh, initially to help you to learn to swim. A pull buoy is placed between the thighs and a person does not kick while using a pull buoy and the pull buoy causes their hips and legs to have extra flotation and float at the surface. The other thing that a pull buoy is very good for is to isolate the core and upper body portions of a swim stroke. So you can get extra swim training for your arms and rest your legs by using a pull buoy. Place the pull buoy between your thighs close to your hips. Remember, you can swim normally, just don't use a kick while you're swimming with a pull buoy. In conclusion, a pull buoy or a float is a useful tool for a swimmer, both in learning to swim and also isolating the upper body for extra training for your arms in swimming.